We are uh, being now joined by Professor Rifat Alarir. He is a professor of English at uh, Islamic University of Gaza. And you can see Glenn Carl on your television screens as well. Uh, professor Alarir, let me go straight into what's happening on ground. Uh, is there food, water, electricity in Gaza? What's happening in Gaza is a total uh, massacre, a total onslaught. What's happening in Gaza is not self-defense. Israel is not defending itself. Israel does not have the right to defend itself because it's an occupying power. What's happening is complete death and destruction. We speak about more than 1,200 Palestinians killed, mostly civilians, uh, uh, young men, children, and women. There are 350 children that Israel killed and massacred. This is not self-defense. Israel has destroyed or damaged more than 20,000 housing units. Israel has imposed a medieval, a horrible, horrible uh, uh, siege on Gaza with no food, no electricity, and no water. Yes, we are running out of everything in Gaza. There will be no food, no enough water in a couple of, uh, of, of weeks maximum, hopefully a little bit more. But what's going on here is that Israel, you can see the pictures here. Israel is uh, systematically uh, uh, hitting and bombing Palestinians in their homes. And in, as in, 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 in the culture here of Palestine, in, in one home, sometimes there are 50 people because Israel asked people to move certain, from certain, certain areas, to go to safer areas, shelters. And then Israel targeted those people in, in these shelters. So people go to their families to spend the night there, to stay safe there, and Israel chooses this time to kill those people. Israel is an occupying power. It has no right to defend itself. It never defended itself. It has always been in a state of aggression to kill Palestinians, to displace Palestinians. This is what's happening in Gaza. Professor Larir, um, the sense certainly is that... Uh Israel is preparing for an on-ground onslaught. And of course, there are challenges being discussed. Uh, what is causing this delay? Uh, is there a sense of fear and panic there? The, we, we have lived under Israel occupation for more than 70 decades. Israel is the longest occupation in modern history. Yes, there is always a sense of fear because Palestinians have been killed and massacred for more than seven decades. This is not some, something new. But this current campaign of Israeli death and destruction is intense. It's genocidal because Israelis on, on social media, or on, on uh, mainstream media in America, in the UK, they are calling for wiping Gaza out, turning Gaza into a city of tents. Is this self-defense? Is this how you defend yourself? If you have the right to defend itself, use yourself, which Israel never has because it's an occupying power. What is going on, whether it is from the sky, from the, 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 the war planes, or whether Israel starts a, a, a land invasion, which is very likely. Maybe it's not a full invasion of Gaza, maybe partially. Gaza, Israel is going to kill uh, thousands and thousands of, uh, of Palestinians. And that is the end game. The end game is not to deter Hamas, because if Hamas goes right now, vanishes, Palestinians will keep resisting the occupation. The problem is the occupation. You get rid, you get out of Palestine, you end this occupation, and there will no longer be reactions from Palestinians. Professor, so Israel's thinking Professor Lari, is I, I want to understand the bread and butter issue in terms of what's happening, uh, because, you know, uh, as, as, as we have been saying, that Gaza perhaps is preparing for worst, uh, but Gaza has seen worst in the past as well. So, in terms of people there, are they, uh, you know, gathering in a particular house, trying to protect themselves? Are bunkers being built? What is the preparation that is going on? No, no place is safe in Gaza. Yes, people try to move from particular areas to safer ones. But even th these areas are bombed. The UN complained that Israel damaged several of its buildings. Israel targeted Palestinians who took shelter in UN schools. There are injuries and people are critically injured. But many people leave to stay with their family members, with their parents or children, which means that there are more and more civilians, more and more children in the home. And then Israel at night, especially at night when everybody is inside, 
make sure to drop two or three or five bombs at this particular house. There, we, we speak about uh, uh, more than 50 Palestinian families completely erased. The fathers, the, the, the mothers, the daughters, the sons, the children. There are uh, massacres with at least uh, three generations of, of Palestinians erased from the, the civil uh, uh, records. What Israel is, is, is doing currently is intense, barbaric, and uh, depending and based on what Israelis themselves say, this is ethnic cleansing and even genocidal.